Hello and welcome to the Lucion video tutorial series. In this video we'll be going over a few of the advanced scanning options, including scanning profiles. First let's go over some of the advanced options on the scan dialog. Now most of these options are talked about in other videos, so we're not going to talk about them here, but let's look at this group of options over here on the right. First of all, omitting blank pages. If you're scanning large documents, inevitably there are going to be some blank pages in the documents, and you don't want those to show up in your final PDF. If you select this option, File Center is going to drop any page that it deems as completely blank from your scan. Now, when we say completely blank, we'll note that that sensitivity is adjustable. If you go into File Center Settings, uh, we're not going to look at it here, but you'll find an option there under the scan settings for adjusting the sensitivity to blank pages. Now, DSKU pages is about pages that come in crooked. Some scanners are notorious for pulling pages through crooked. And if you select the DSKU pages option, File Center is going to do its best to identify pages that are crooked and straighten those for you. Another handy option is auto cropping. This is especially useful if you do a lot of receipt scanning. When you scan receipts, you don't usually want those to come in on an 8.5 by 11 or an A4 page. You'd rather have the scan be the size of the receipt itself. Well, that's where auto cropping comes in. If you select this option, File Center is automatically going to trim the page down to the size of the image so you get a page that matches the original. Let's turn our attention now to this setting Use Scanner Dialog. To explain this, first you need to understand that all scanners have their own scanning interface. A native dialog where you can select all the options that are available for your scanner and you initiate your scan from there. File Center suppresses that dialog by default. But if you select this option, then when we click Start Scan, the scanner's dialog is going to show up. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Now I've got an Epson scanner and this is the interface that Epson has provided for me to scan with. This has all of the options that are available for my scanner, and there are quite a few of them here. I can adjust my page size, I can adjust my resolution and sharpness, and there are a lot of other options. I can even come over here and I've got some advanced configuration options. Every scanner is going to be different. When you select that option, you're going to see a different dialog than I'm seeing here, but it's going to be whatever scanning interface your scanner manufacturer has provided. And the nice thing about being able to show this is there are usually options here that aren't available in File Center. And so if you come here and do your scanning from this dialog, you have the full range of options available on your scanner. Now, once I've selected the options that I want to use, I go ahead and I click Scan right here, and then File Center is going to scan in my document using the options selected here. So that's a really powerful feature, especially for those who have very high end scanners. Now let's go back to our scan dialog and check out a few more options. Let's switch over here to the Advanced tab. Now these are image adjustments, and you will find these on your native scanner dialog, uh, but we also make them available right here inside of your scanning interface. For grayscale and colored images, you can control the brightness and the contrast of your image, and you'll need to do a few scans to really hone in the settings that give you the best results inside of File Center. For black and white scans, You've got your black and white threshold right here. You can think of this as brightness almost for black and white scans. It determines how dark a specific spot on the page needs to be for it to be regarded as being black. And so you can adjust those back and forth and just really hone the sharpness of those black and white images. Finally, let's switch over here to the OCR tab. Now these are the settings that you use to make your scan searchable. To explain, in order for a scan to be searchable, you need to run OCR, or Optical Character Recognition. That's a process that goes through your scan and identifies letters and words inside of your scan and exposes those as actual text in the scan. Your scan will still look exactly like the original, but it's going to have text in it that you can search or that you can copy and paste into another program. It's really a very powerful option. And it's usually an additional step in most other programs, but in File Center, you can come over here to the OCR tab and you can select Make Searchable PDF and that's automatically going to run OCR as part of the scanning process to make your scan as efficient as possible while still giving you a nice fully searchable PDF file. Now as part of the OCR process you can also 
process separators in File Center, and you'll want to take a look at our separators tutorials to really understand what document separation is all about and how that can really speed up your scanning. And you can also select Auto Rotate Pages. This will automatically rotate any turned pages so that the text is upright, which saves you from having to go through the scan afterwards and rotate those pages manually. Now, for the rest of the time, we want to talk about scanning profiles. And here's the concept there. We have a lot of different scanning options that you can select when you do a scan. It's painful to have to reselect those every time that you perform a scan. So File Center lets you save these configuration options and quickly recall them. You'll notice this section right here, Profile, where we've got New and Delete and Save. Now, as I select options here, you'll notice that I can save. And notice what's going to happen if I come back into my scan dialog. Those options have been selected. Those are now new defaults. Now, File Center lets you save a number of different default configurations, which you can select from this list right here. Now, let's set one up so that you can see how this works. Now, let's suppose that in addition to scanning documents, I scan a lot of digital photos, and I want to have a separate set of settings just for digital photos. For example, I don't want to scan to PDF, I want to scan to JPEG files. And I want these to be in full color, and 300 resolution is good. But I don't want to omit blank pages, I don't want to de-skew pages, and I also don't want OCR. You'll notice the OCR went away as I selected JPEG. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save this now. And I'm going to call this Digital Photos. Okay, I now have an option here for digital photos. And let's do another one now for my regular documents. When I scan regular documents, I do want to go to PDF. I want these to be black and white, 300 by 300 DPI, but I do want to omit blanks, and I do want to de-skew my pages. In fact, I want to do scanner duplex by default because I've got a double-sided scanner. And on the OCR tab, I do want to make my documents searchable, I'd also like to automatically rotate my pages. And I do a lot of scanning with separators, so I want to process separators. Let's now save this as, as a document scanning. Now let's see what happens as I switch between these options. If I go over to Digital Photos, all of my options below change to match my digital photo selections. But now when it's time to scan a document, I can come back to document scanning and all of my proper options are selected below. These document profiles are nice not just because they speed up your selections, but because they also make it so that your scanning is consistent. You're always using the same settings for the same type of document. Now, we're going to show you one more setting that's part of document profiles that can really speed up your scanning in certain scenarios. We're going to come into File Center Settings. Now we're going to select the Scan option over here on the left. And here is another place where we can manage our profiles. You can create new profiles right here, and uh, you can delete profiles, make changes to them, whatever you want. But one thing I want you to notice right here, there's an additional option available here, which is Default Scan Name. For any given profile, you can also provide a default file name. Now let's create that, and let's see how that works. Right now it's Let's, uh, let's select our uh, document scanning, but let's give this a different name. Instead of new scan, let's call this, uh, let's just call it client document to be generic. We're going to save that and say OK. Now we're going to switch over to our cabinet view so you can see how this works, because this really only applies when you're scanning straight into your cabinets because that's the only place where we use file names with scans. Now when I click Scan, notice what happened. The default file name is Client Document, because I have the Document Scanning Profile selected right here. So not only have I selected all of these options here automatically, but it's also given me a default file name. Now, of course, I can also go ahead and use my naming options or a lot of other features, and you'll want to check out the naming options tutorial for uh, instructions on how to have some really intelligent and easy-to-use file names. 
Now let's show you how to speed up this process even more. Let's suppose that you've got your scanning profiles all set up. You've got all your settings honed in, and you've also picked some good default file names for your scans. Now you'd like to do away with the scan dialog altogether. You just want to go straight to a scan. Let's show you how to do that inside of your cabinets. If we go up to our scan button, you'll notice there's a drop arrow underneath it. And at the bottom of this pop-up menu, we've got each one of the scanning profiles. If you select one of these scanning profiles from the list right here, File Center is going to immediately initiate a scan using that profile. For example, let's try the document scanning profile right here. I select that. We omit the scan dialog altogether. File Center immediately begins the scan. And the document comes in named just the way we specified inside of the profile. So there you go. Quite a few advanced and powerful features to really enhance the way that you scan with File Center.